let's go over what you get. So in the box here was an inspection checklist from the factory, just letting you know everything was in there. Product warranty card, of course. A couple of extra fastener screws for the tube ring and the screw for your focuser lock. Nice little hex wrench there. And look at this, you actually get a user's manual, which, you know, if you get that with any telescope, it's impressive. And then you've got this nice little flyer here, which shows you where you can connect your focuser bracket, if you so have one. The sheet here shows the different adapters and the sizes. It looks like it's all one piece, but it actually does break down into three. And you can even install a two inch filter in there, which is uh, what I've done, which putting it in L Extreme uh, for those occasions when I want one. Now the uh, telescope came wrapped in plastic, as you see here. You got the tube rings on there along with the carrying handle, and uh, it came great. It was actually very, very well packed. Now as an option, you can get the reducer, which is what I chose to do uh, with this scope. It is sold separately. It's a f3.9 full frame reducer, which brings it down from 400 millimeter down to about 280 at f3.9, give or take. Uh, pretty solid construction. Glass looked really good. You also get metal caps for each end for protection rather than plastic. So uh, definitely, yeah, nice little addition there and it'll be able to replace that 61 quite easily. Rings, of course, are aluminum and they're held with hex bolts rather than knobs or latches, which is nice and solid. Comes with the handle on the top there, of course. And on the inside of the rings, they're felt lined to protect the scope itself. And it is also mounted to the dovetail which comes with it, which honestly you will probably wind up replacing or mounting another plate underneath it. In addition, you have a shoe here on the top that uh, you can attach accessories to, which is actually pretty stout. You do have the ability to rotate your camera 360 degrees once connected. Here is your inch and a quarter adapter, so you can use your eyepieces or a small bullet cam. 10 to 1 focuser, of course, and you also have the mounting holes on the bottom so you can mount a focuser bracket like the uh, EAF, which is what I wound up doing. Of course, on the front, you have a nice metal cover, all red and white, pretty looking there. And just to prove that you actually have a quintuplet, it even says quintuplet. It does have a rather robust focuser on it. it the uh, course adjustment was nice and tight. There was no slop in it whatsoever. There was no binding that I could tell. The 10 to 1 on it was very smooth, very accurate. And quite honestly, this was extremely easy to get into focus uh, before I even put the electronic focuser on it. Now you will be mounting it on the opposite side there of the course adjustment rather than removing the uh, fine adjustment of the course adjustment here on the right. Now the inch and a quarter adapter does seat inside the two inch adapter. It's held in place by thumb screws. However, the two inch adapter is mechanically connected to the back of the focuser with threads. Once you pull that off, this is where you would put the uh, other adapters on there in order to make your connection with your camera. So if you're using a CMOS or CCD, you would basically leave all of those in place. Or you can also uh, break them down. So if you got a DSLR, you would then uh, shorten it up a little bit for yourself. Now you can thread a two inch filter into there if you need to, which is quite convenient. And hmm, where have I heard that before? And I digress. Anyway, so if you did get the reducer, it's just going to thread onto the back of the three inch focus there onto the threads. Just screws right in there, no problems. And then of course you remove the cover on the back side of it. And of course, make sure you remove the cover on the front before you try to install it. But once you take that out, it's 55 millimeters from the threads back to the camera sensor, just like normal, quite easy, no issues. Now I did mount this onto a Lismondi bar. Obviously to me, that little dovetail just isn't gonna cut it in my setup, especially for balance. So I just bolted that right on there and I was good to go. Now I did buy the scope from Camera Concepts and Telescope Solutions. One, they were the only ones who had it in the country at the time. And number two, I wasn't really even aware that they were out here on the East Coast. Uh, so a big thanks to Victor for turning me on to these guys. They had some really excellent customer service, really good bunch of gents up there. Now I did pair this up with the ASI Air Plus. 
I'm not giving up on Nina. I love Nina. It is extremely powerful, and I'm already seeing some limitations from the ASI Air Plus, but it is good for some quick and dirty imaging. Just throw it out there and let her rip, which is kind of convenient. And I already had the ZWO Mini 30mm guide scope, so I just transferred that from the Radian after I sold it, right on over to the ASCAR. And that is, of course, paired to the ASI 290 Mini Mono Guide Camera, which is an absolute bulletproof guide camera. I love this camera. I've had it now for a little over a year. It's done real well on the C8, on the 61, and on the 71. So if you're looking for a new guide camera, I would definitely recommend that 290. Now, I did buy the electronic focuser in addition to the ASCAR. And the reason behind that was because I wanted automated focusing. And of course, it does attach right to the bottom, almost exactly as you see here in the picture. So it does work. So back again, camera concepts and telescope solutions. If you're not aware of these guys, again, unbelievable, great customer service. They even reached out to me a couple of times, was really appreciative and answered some questions I had very quickly. Very much impressed with this company. So if you get a chance, be sure to check them out. And up next will be First Light. So be waiting for that video. It's going to be a good one.